distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many. Ladies and gentlemen, this Bob. is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Good punch. Hook shot blocked there by Lee. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Nice. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Dig and kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. blocked under three minutes remain in round one head kick oh 
Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Straight punch lands. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just over two minutes to go. Big body kick. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Big head kick lands. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. Oh! Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Able to check that kick as well. What a body kick. And they separate. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Leg kick. 30 seconds to go here. Seconds left. Lands with a right hand. Final seconds of round one. Looking to land the right just out of range. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Knee to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Just 
just over three minutes to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. Gonna shut your body off. Nice straight punch. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Just out of range with that right hook. Great punch. Now connects with a right. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, huge overhand there. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Nice loop and punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. All right, twenty seconds to go in the round. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, lands a vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson on punch out back in the day. You couldn't take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike Tyson, or maybe it was Super Sandman. One of those guys just had a crazy uppercut. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. How good is that right hand? Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Beautiful punch. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice leg kick land. Ooh, 
what a punch. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Back to the overhand right, not there. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Switching stances here. Big kick lands. That kick blocked by Lee. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Good right here. That punch, no good. Good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice counter left hook. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, 
Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. That one snuck in. Nice strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, left hook. That shot blocked by Lee. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. You got to check these low leg kicks. Be first, be first. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, big head kick land. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Great punch landed with so much power. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Out of range with that one. Just over two minutes to go. Nice punch by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Unable to land with that punch. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Nice defense there. Huge block. Keep your hands up. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage and reach. All right, less than a minute here to go in our fourth round. Good stick. Real sneaky body kick. Gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, big punch land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Beautiful body kick. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick, 
He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Beautiful strike. Straight right, he misses. Checks the leg kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Good punch lands. Nice head kick. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, big kick lands flush. Checks the leg kick. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, late in the fight, and clearly it's been a dominant performance for him, and he's had to lean on that cardio. It certainly has not abandoned him tonight. Cardio in a video game comes down to who's button mashing and who's actually playing the game. The guy that's actually uh -huh. playing the game has better cardio. Look at that bar. Stop button pressing and learn how to play the game. Massive head kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising and it's only getting worse. Liver kick. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Hands high, hands high. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Real nice body kick lands. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. at the angle of that nice body kick. What else can you say but what a fight? 
All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!